Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And we are here today to talk to you all about uh, 2.4 gigahertz digital wireless microphones. Digital wireless mics, what are they? How do what they work? What are they? Yep. Uh, and then introduce you to a couple of our favorites here. All right, Nathan, so we have some digital wireless mic solutions in front of us. So um, I see we have some nifty new products on the market or product, I would say, on the market. And then we have uh, something really cool from uh, MyPro as well. So um, kind of explain to me this digital, you know, digital conversation of, uh, of a wireless system, kind of break it down for me. Yeah, sure. So um, in the wireless microphone world right now, you're going to have uh, analog wireless and then also digital wireless. So I don't by any means have a doctorate in a RF wireless technology. Uh, so we're going to keep things very base level here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you happen to have one of those doctorates, <laughs> Keep it to yourself for a little bit, all right? Uh, so basically, um, as we all know, the wireless microphone spectrum in America has gotten a lot more uh, compact recently. Compact, yeah. uh, FCC did away with the uh, 700 megahertz band, auctioned that off a few years ago to uh, major telecom companies okay. and that kind of yeah. thing. And now the same thing is happening again uh, in the 600 megahertz band. Gotcha. Uh, also, um, the... Uh, also, uh, big uh, TV stations are broadcasting wireless HD um, television stations all over the country, all over the bands, which makes uh, your average touring audio guy's life a little bit tough sometimes. <laughs> a few headaches, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, a lot of people are looking for how to escape, how to get away from it. How can you find working wireless microphone channels in uh, 2019? Yep. So, what some of the manufacturers have done is actually taken to uh, the digital space, operating in 2.4 gig gigahertz uh, or thereabouts. Um, some of you may know a little th thing or two about 2.4 gigahertz. That's um, the uh, frequency spectrum where your wireless routers operate. Okay, uh, gotcha. your, your WAPs, which is IT guy code for wireless access point, like you see up in the ceiling in hospitals and things like that. Gotcha. Uh, that space is allowed to operate um, a little bit differently. And right now, there's not a lot of other folks in that spectrum mm -hmm. uh, other than the, uh, Wi-Fi and then now microphones over the course of the last couple years. Uh, so there's a lot of give and take and a lot of pros and cons of going one way or the other as far as digital. Um, once again, we can always help with that conversation when you Absolutely. guys do have questions about what kind of microphone you need. Yeah. Uh, some of those pros and cons just to kind of give you a high level flyover and you'll find debates about these all over the internet as far as which one's better, which one will always work better. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz digital technology um, can actually sound better uh, because of just kind of how the electronics of it all work, okay. um, the actual electrical signal. Um, but it also becomes a little bit more challenging to do lots of frequencies. So the tour, uh, because of the, the amount of bandwidth in the 2.4 gigahertz space, uh, it's hard to do lots and lots of wireless microphones okay. at gotcha. one time gotcha. uh, on the 2.4 gigahertz or the 1.9 gigahertz band or thereabouts. Gotcha. Uh, whereas with conventional analog RF, you know, in the 500 megahertz band, 400 megahertz band, you can put more frequencies in there okay. in those uh, spaces. Gotcha. Uh, so 2.4 gigahertz, you're not going to see as often in like the touring guy kind of level, uh, but for the local church, the local teacher, uh, local Boy Scout troop, you know, that kind of space can be a very easy solution to get away from some of the RF headache. Um, from there, we've got different options of which ones to use. Now, 2.4 gigahertz mics are made by companies Sure, Sennheiser, Audio-Technica, uh, MyPro like we have here. All the usual uh, microphone manufacturers make um, digital um, microphone systems. Uh, right. They're available with body packs, with lapels, with headsets, yeah. with handhelds, just like all the other microphone systems are. Uh, but 
they can be useful, like I said, for avoiding some of the RF issues. Um, to kind of give you guys an idea, if you're in Dallas, Chicago, uh, New York City, uh, LA, yeah. yeah, you can find yourself in situations where you have a lot of wireless activity going on all around you and you don't yeah. even know it, uh, which can make it tough for finding a mic to work for your school or for your uh, personal event. Yeah. 2.4 gigahertz can sometimes help get you out of that. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you've got a tons of routers and things like that in the uh, digital space as well, sometimes <laughs> you're cautious, not quite out yeah. of the woods. Yeah. But digital is a great option to pursue um, for uh, cost-effective wireless and also some, some better sounding stuff on the higher end of the price spectrum. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so more specifically, um, you know, we, have a, we have a great new product on the market um, called the X5 here. Um, it's really, really, um, uh, I've, I haven't seen anything like it as far as uh, the ease of use and just the interface of, of the actual um, front panel here. Um, just go over why something like this even exists with me a little bit because, um, like I said, they, they really, really went out of their way to, you know, craft such a, uh, uh, you know, place in the market where something like this was, was needed. So. Um, yeah, yeah, you got of. it. The, the X5 is kind of a, uh, a newer product, like you mentioned, and it's very cool. And then it has rechargeable, uh, battery rechargeable wireless transmitter and wireless receiver. Uh, mm -hmm. So what that means is, you know, your transmitter can plug into any of your own uh, microphone transmitter. Here I have our uh, Pure Resonance Audio UC1S mm -hmm. that I've talked to you before in the past has its own on and off switch. And now you have essentially a wireless microphone system. Uh, it's got uh, its own power, its own mute switch, and it also has um, a number of different wireless channel options on the bottom. This is uh, fully rechargeable from a, a wall outlet, and then it communicates back to its transmitter, mm -hmm. which is also completely portable, rechargeable. Um, and this basically is just an XLR input that can plug directly into your mixer, into your channel, or into a microphone cable, into a channel. Um, and then also has its own power button, its own uh, individual channels uh, to where you can easily turn it on and off. Uh, so in essence, instead of having to have a piece of rack gear like this, we can actually plug this into the back of a powered speaker like uh, the Bose S1 we've talked about before. Gotcha. Okay. Any other wireless, uh, or pardon me, any other speaker option that has a microphone input, we can then plug this uh, uh, wireless transmitter into and then essentially instantly have 2.4 gigahertz um, wireless microphones. Crazy. Uh, yeah. So also with digital, one thing we didn't cover, digital does have a little bit shorter range than um, analog RF. Analog RF normally can broadcast up to about 200 feet or so. Okay. Gotcha. Um, that's also in perfect scenarios uh, with good line of sight and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Digital is normally a little bit shorter, normally closer to around 100 feet. So keep that in mind when we're looking at these types of options. Uh, but beyond the, the X Vive, we can also look at uh, MyPro or uh, Avlex, who also makes a great quality uh, built tough uh, digital uh, microphone system. Uh, MyPro is going to have dual channel receivers like we have here, which are this is our ACT2402. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a dual channel receiver, two different outputs. You've got two XLR outputs on the back so that you can uh, come out to two different individual channels and make adjustments as needed. Um, and then from there, you can have two different combinations of transmitters. The one we have here has a, a lapel microphone. The other has a lapel mic also, but it could very well have a headset, an ear set okay. mic you gotcha. know, for a, a church pastor. Also could uh, be adapted uh, on this plug to uh, plug in a quarter inch input for like a uh, acoustic guitar or any other instrument with a pickup in it. Um, or once again, we could have had a, a handheld mic or any combination. Uh, what's cool about the, uh, the MyPro ACT stuff is that your transmitter is a la carte, so you can actually pick which one you want to go along with the package. Pick the flavors. So. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So like we can like we see here, uh, we can do with digital RF basically the same things that we can do with analog RF, but uh, it has its own benefits and its own uh, and its own drawbacks, uh, which make it a viable option in the marketplace with some really cool, very simple options being introduced. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Um, and again, if you have any any questions or you know any hesitation on you know what what's best for you, uh, that's why we're here. You can definitely definitely reach out to either one of us. You can reach me directly at Colton at C O L T I N at proacoustics.com. Or can we reach you? Nathan at proacoustics.com. Mm -hmm. Um, give us a call on the 800 number, 888-256-4112. Drop us a line below. Go to the website, proacousticsusa.com. Mm -hmm. Let us know how we can help. Absolutely. Until next time, I'm Colton. I'm Nathan.